Good evening, everybody. Ah. Okay. Same old story, taking another angle slant on it. Okay. The major layout doesn't change, but how we approach it, uh, what we use to help us continue navigate into finer and finer, that can vary. Okay. But the basic map if you would, of creation, uh, pretty much is the basic map, okay? Okay, healing, 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 healing possibilities. Hmm. All right, uh, we've covered some of the things uh, a bit. Um, uh, so we mentioned the story of it happened uh, in the early days in Aikido, remember? Uh, we had a lot of skiers at the time and they would break their arm skiing. And, uh, but we're also doing a bit of energy flow uh, in, in class. And uh, so it was not unusual. It happened more than a few, more than a couple of times, at least a few times, uh, where the doctor uh, said, wow, your bone is healing fast. And it got to the point where I expected the doctor to say that with any of my Aikido students who had broken their arm. Healing faster than the norm kind of thing. Okay, so what is that based on? Uh, another story here. Uh, uh, I like rotator cuff tears. Uh, okay, so I've been tore up a bit. Uh, one time I had a very bad tear and rotator can't lift your arm. You can't pour a pot of coffee, which was horrible. Can't do that. Can you see me on that? Adjusted, right? Yep. See, I'm outside the screen. There we go. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. Uh, so just funny around in class, and there was a, an Aikido guy there who's a physical therapist. And of course, I can't move my arm, but I settle, basic, into a little finer energy dimension. No big deal, just fairly quick one. Had a... And in that energy dimension, I, I, whatever, I raised my arm, I did a couple of fancies. And he said, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Well, in my normal physical level, I can't. But easy and settle and get to an energy dimension, it's a pretty close one. And, and from that level, can, could do things, okay? For a while. Um, so uh, following that trajectory, following that path, <sighs> so basic, settle, easy, easy the eye, facilitates opening up so that you're moving into a, 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 a finer inner. Uh, remember, these lines here are inner lines and not out there lines. When you're inner, you might have some uh, a better sense of out there. But the process work we do is inner dimensional into finer vibration rates. <sighs> into the fuller of that. Okay. Uh, so you had practice with a one by two by the three by, had a pretty good sense of, of that. Okay, healing, healing, healing. <sighs> I think I want to present some different possibilities. Uh, okay, so one of them might be, uh, uh, let me stand. Okay, the basic. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the basic energies up, energies down. We uh, touched on that some class or other. So easy settle with a sense. There are energies, hang on, ooh, move that. <laughs> ah, so open. There are energies that move up and down, or if you like, move down and up, okay? Whatever is your first preference. Ah, easy, settle, okay. Ah, energies from a little bit deeper, Moving up 
and back down. You don't stay with just the idea, but I need an idea to get started. But the energies that move up is a, after a bit more of a sense feeling. Ah, they seem to be stopping about here. You can see, they go down. Seem to be stopping about my uh, feet, flat feet on the rug level. Okay, so boom to boom. Okay, so at the level I'm at now, that's where the up and down energies are moving. Okay, as you uh, play with sense experiencing, uh, you get to measure your own uh, in whatever form is e again easy for you, comfortable for you. Now here on this first simple centered body approach kind of thing, as the energies up and down are more in harmony or balance with each other. As the up and down sense of balance. And again, with a little practice, you get to feel, oh yeah, that level of balance feels better than five minutes ago or whatever. At a level of balance, the energies are free. Therefore, there's a bit of a natural ah, emanation, outflow. Uh, let me check my system right now where I'm at. Okay, I, I'm starting to smile a bit. No reason to smile, but I just this is happening. And a real desire to uh, straighten a bit as if something is pushing me straighter. A uh, little bit more, I'm, I'm here. Not fantastic, I'm here, but more I'm here than a couple of minutes ago. Okay, so what I'm presenting is balance energies at their balance point, a natural emanation through the heavier, I'm doing inner finer, but they outflow through the heavier. That's why I can feel my skin glow after a while, for example, or my face starts to smile, or my body's affected because it wants to straighten a bit. Ah, oh, it feels better. Ah, as if I was in a one by one space before, now I'm in a two by two kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, first simple set centered energies up and down the center. And as you go, as you continue, you'll naturally move into a little better level where the energy sense feel that they're coming up from deeper and, and coming down from, from higher up down. At the same time for me, because I'm playing with the center, uh, the post pipeline that's here, that feels a little fuller, feels a little fuller. Uh, yeah. So just things I notice tells me I'm moving along. Okay, at this level of energies up, energies down, over to there, we go. boom. And I play with those energies up and down for a while. Uh, let me measure it my way for you. Energies up, seem to be about, about here, okay? Energies down, earlier was at my feet level, now down. Deeper, it feels deeper than my feet. Yeah, feeling as a human being, I'd say like my feet are six inches to a foot under the ground, okay? Under the ground, yeah. If I was standing outside, I'd say, yes, my feet are in the ground. Okay, so my beat is getting fuller up and down. Now there's a balance here soon, should show. Energy's up, energy's down, and they should be balanced easy to the down. 
Ah, here we go. Okay. I think I'm at a balanced place. It just feels like a balanced place, a sense feel. Okay. And the from that balance, there's a natural emanation. Make up that word for now. Emanation out through the heavier, such as my body. I feel a little stronger. If we were throwing punches, boom. I'd let you punch me a bit. Not your best shot yet, but you could, you could throw a shot at me just for fun. I'd take it. For dumb example, sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Up energies, down energies, easy. <sighs> balance, someplace in there. <sighs> I come to a balance. I feel fuller. Ah, ugh. I feel fuller. My desire to move out a bit more like this is natural. I'm not making it up. It's what my ah, and that sound is natural. I'm not making it up. Ah, that's what it wants to do. Ah, it's emanating more out through the body. Ah, okay, yeah. We've And remember, 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 it's not just an idea. Ah, ah. There has to be some inner sense experience. It's not an idea. Oh, yes, harmony in my body, up and down. Oh, yeah. Not a hell of a lot is going to happen. Okay, so yes, an idea. <laughs> and then the actual forces, energies in this case, that are moving up and down that having some room to move in, easy, or settle open, have more room to move in, they'll naturally balance with each other. Are we okay so far? Okay. Um, and it's up to you, once you've got the sense of the game, to keep playing the game, okay? So see if there's a next for you where, uh, maybe the, if you're getting a pipeline type thing, it shows a bit different. Uh, for example, for me, often it would show from a metal pipe to a sort of a plastic clearer pipe where I can feel, sense, see the energies moving up through that clearer plastic pipe. Okay? Uh, that it goes down deeper and therefore higher to the height, to the depth, and the depth to the height. There are partners set up there. Okay, and as the energies are balanced, okay, at the balance point, I'm saying there's a natural emanation. Sure was. We could add things later, like at the balance point, there is a core, and we'll do that after a bit. Core work on a healing format, and we say if there's a core of your energies mixing somewhat there, uh, then there's also a character, I mentioned soak that, a sponge, character comes right through there after a bit. Soak, 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 and the character just sort of presents itself, shows itself here. Okay, it's a, like a happening. Am I getting too far ahead right now? Ah, the energy beats of up and down And that was Osensei's first major. And by playing there a lot, he developed a very powerful body. He got strong, fast from being a sickly kid. Uh, he got very strong, okay? It wasn't long, teenager, he's doing feats of strength, uh, very fast de development. But he was basically working that pattern, okay? In his form, he's doing that pattern but basically centered character, energies up and down, making a stronger character. Ah, all right. So in that sense, he went from being a sickly kid to a very strong teenager. Kind of a type of healing, we could say. Okay. 
jump in. Give me something to mull on here before we move along. Somebody, any comments there? Hello. Uh, say Sean here. Sean here. Yeah. So um, when you were talking about healing and um, uh, ch changing and things, I, I felt a sense of like um, magnetic and being uh, as a healer feeling like it's okay to feel magnetic and to draw out stuff, but not retain it. Okay. Would you speak something about that? Okay, like, you're jumping ahead a bit, okay? Yeah, okay. Let's start simple first. Okay. Possibly you could feel magnetism with the up and down forces. It's like one's a he and the other's a she, simple approach. Don't confuse that with boy, girl. Just, uh, But one is, has that sense and the other has the other sense, okay? And as there's more room for them to activate and be present, you might feel a real draw from one to the next. They're hot for each other. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And all the way down the line, uh, things get very sexy. I go out my front yard and the blue jays are chasing each other around. And then the doves, they always travel in pairs. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay. So there's this attractive force. Okay. Yeah. Uh, based on the original. Okay, so it seeps through everything. <laughs> yep. uh, anyway, um, uh, you're talking about being a healer. I'm going to play with self healing. Okay, okay. I'm going to be all, go all sick people come at me. Screw you. Keep your crutches outside <laughs> my house. I'm not ready for you people. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good, <laughs> good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a big tent down in Georgia. You following yeah. me, bro? I know. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. That's good. That's uh, don't good. Go there. Right. Don't go there. No, I'm not there. Yep. I'm talking yep. about personal, yep. personal, yep. personal. So, 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 okay. Here, here's a good one. Um, mm -hmm. When you were talking, about, you often talk about like you know when you're um, uh, the hands of uh, you know when you're when you feel that sense of of your hands being alive there's a natural attraction magnetism between the hands and then putting that across your own body. I mean, as far as yoga is concerned for me, that's where it's a lot about is like a sense of self massage and moving the energy within my own body. And I feel like that's, that's uh, what you're more about what you're talking about. Right. It's like, um, right, don't worry about anyone else. Check out yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I think since they said that in all those write-ups before class started, clean your own act up <laughs> first. Yeah. Don't try to clean up other people's act. Take care of yourself first. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but yeah, the, the hand things at a certain level of settling, finer dimension, easy settle. And, and, you know, oh, there's energies em, em, emanating. You can feel them, actually. And if you're practicing seeing, you can see them. With a little darker background, proper lighting, or no lighting kind of thing. You can see this, this thing going back and forth. Looks like white right. streams at first. Yep. A little bit better, and you feel, oh, my God, it's repulsing here. And, oh, it's drawing and what, whatever. You, you feel the magnetism of it. It's just natural happening at a certain level. Okay. Just, just just out of, out of um, uh, admiration, I just want to say that one of the best gifts that you've ever given me was to say, "Imagine you can see something, and you and you, then you demonstrate, and then you say, "Imagine you can see something." I mean, I've seen that, I've heard that over the years, and it's like the every time when you say that, more and more and more is revealed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's exposed it's exposed for what it is yeah and everybody can see things better if they settle 
and do the basics and get to a finer dimension. And right there, there are many possibilities. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One is seeing the same situation, but at this level, you see it different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Remember, I told you the story as an, hopefully an example. Betsy's uh, father was a uh, doctor and uh, he was leading a group of interns through the ward and they stopped at one bed like they do, check them out. And he was very angry with the young interns because he said, can you see this guy's got a headache? And nobody saw that. And he got a little irked at them. Like, what the hell level, I'm, I'm making this up now. What level are you looking at this guy? Yeah. Can't right. you see, which is probably a bad word. Can't you sense, feel, see he has a headache? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> you, you can use you can you can use the word if you want compassion. I, I don't need that word. You're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Stay on track here. Don't add fancy words. Oh yes, we're talking. Screw that. Here, self healing. Boom. Don't Ooh. throw me off with your fancy ass words, Sean. <laughs> Don't don't amaze me and wow me with how fancy words. That's God <laughs> in effect. <laughs> Here come the commies. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Click, click, sure. click, click, click. Let's get there experientially and then I'll listen. Gotcha. Okay. I'm not Thank interested you. in throughout words. Anyway, well, uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sean. And I tried to... Uh, I mentioned this uh, lady friend I had met at Esalen, and she was a veterinarian. And I was pretty good with dogs. I was still carrying over a lot of dog stuff in those years. Uh, so I had a fair good eye, fair good eye for dogs. But she could see things in dogs that was beyond me, you know. <laughs> okay. So I told you the story of uh, little, we were walking by a, a house on Esalen property, and there was a dog out in the yard. And she walked up and she happened to glance at it and said, oh, the kids are riding on its back. Its back is... In. And I looked and I couldn't see a bad back. I've got a fair good eye. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't see it, but I wanted to check her out. She was a new connection. So I went back and knocked on the door and talked to the lady at the house about the dog. And I said, did you know your dog has a bad back waiting for some return? She said, oh, yeah, the kid's right on it. I tell him not to, but I said, damn, not only did you know he had a bad back, she knew why. <laughs> Good eye. Hell, must have been a hell of a vet. <laughs> she could just spot things. And from a finer dimension, you see things other people can't see. Okay, now we're bringing the healers after a bit. Uh, Susan would say yes. Uh, Elaine would probably say yes. Uh, Florida. Amy. No. Daphne. Diane. Justin. Justin. <laughs> they all seem to be in Florida. All right, Elaine here. Your brain cells are going. <laughs> anyway, so again, we're going at the same old story, but I thought because of the age many of you are at and the shape you're in, <laughs> uh, that the healing thing might catch your attention and draw some interest, okay? Uh, I could say baseball, uh, but we'd only have one. Steve from LA would tune in, but no, nobody else would. Okay? Uh, so healing is interesting to a lot of people especially at a certain age group. <laughs> ah, okay, healing. So the up and down, basic two beat energy, finer and finer and finer, fuller and fuller and fuller, any place of uh, balance. And again, if you're sense feeling, experiencing, you, you can tell where that balance is. You can, you can feel the balance some form, okay? Uh, such a simple, simple one. If you're interested in that one, continue. The beats do go 
down deeper and up higher. They do uh, the core center, not the core. The center pipeline of them will begin to show different. Okay. And that's where some of my stories came from when I teach. It's like a, a pipeline to an oil well and the oil gushes up. Uh, that, that presentation to the students probably came from having a real feeling for a pipeline and much more energy flowing up and down. And hey, 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 boom, better presentation. In this case, we're talking about healing. Okay, on that one. Let's see. A second possibility. Ah. Oops. Okay. Uh, we've uh, presented. Do I want to do that one for a second? Oh, no, it's third. Second, core, core work. Uh, we, we've had a session on core. Uh, let's quickly touch on it again. Uh, so, like, everyone knows about core these days, right? Every, every gymnasium every Pilates person, uh, whoever, core. And they're getting results because at first, the first core, let's call it, is a physical plexus. And when they get to activate that core, it, it lights up the whole body. The whole body potentially gets stronger, okay? I think I had uh, Paul Bowman uh, talk about when he was first introduced to to that core and he made amazing progress uh when he caught what core is his weights increased a tremendous amount so much it's like hard to believe you know core but because the core emanates through his body suddenly he's adding 100 pounds on something and on and on it was a, in a short period of time you're not talking years of training this is like fast uh but Paul is kind of special in some ways. But anyway, the, the core nation. So even at that level, people can pick it up physically. The physical gets better is all I'm trying to say. You continue easy. Easy. You're moving into a finer dimension. Easy, open, settle. Easy, inner, finer. Moving into a finer dimension. Okay, the finer dimension has a core at that dimension. It's your core, it's you, okay? But at that level the dimension, that core is, begins to emanate more energy. So I like to use, I have used the uh, Tai Chi master pattern kind of thing. Uh, I think I presented uh, the earlier level of core, uh, which a little more energy involved, uh, Tai Chi, uh, where the arm movements get, get freer, okay? These arm things just move better. Okay. That should be natural from that first, or that level of core. Emanates more freedom of upper body movement. Okay. As they continue, there's another uh, inner finer core, and suddenly they get, the legs move move better. They don't have to prepare to kick. It's like, boom, boom, there's a kick. It's just there. Okay. And on and on and on, finer and finer and finer, uh, potentially. <laughs> See, people get stuck along the way. They could get stuck at, oh boy, my arms are moving better. My block punch is getting really, I'm cool. Wow. And they stay there forever in a lifetime. Okay. Okay. Level of comfortableness. They're happy. Too bad because there is more, and I had a feeling they could tap the more. Maybe they can't, so I'll leave them alone. They're happy with their fancier, uh, but they're better than the norm. Hey, look at me, I'm special. Okay, uh, but I'm hoping you guys are more interested in the continuation or the more, more finer, more original self you. Okay, if you're not, eventually you're gonna drop away. Say thank you, not though I can't take anymore. <laughs> okay. I call that level of comfortableness. Okay, core, core. So easy, settle. 
It's Dr. Game. There is a core. Easy. Settle. Open. Core. Show yourself. Easy. Oh. I'm getting a faint image of a, a round ball here. Yeah. Easy. And I don't get caught up. Gee, did I make that up? You're wasting time. You're wasting time. Easy. Settle. Open. Core. Core. Okay. Now it may uh, not a dramatic move, but it's a little bit bigger, a little bit lower, a little sense of a little heavier. Okay. So I didn't have to worry about that I make that up because this one is much more obvious to me. It's definitely lower. I can, I can almost feel the extra heaviness of it. Okay. And if you can't be as fast as I am, that's okay. I've been practicing for a while. Okay. But soon that would show. Uh, so don't waste your time diverting. Okay. Uh, we'll lose the potential of a straighter trajectory through all of this, eventually, potentially. Uh, okay. Core, core, core. Now, uh, what is core? Uh, core is a location. Open, finer core shows there. And what is core? Core is where uh, your energies gather. You each have your own energy mix. I mean, we could call it color mix, or we could call it quality mix. Let's keep it simple right now. Your energy mix, the, the types of energy quali qualities that are comfortable for you, that you've hooked into that you're related to, okay? And the better, meaning finer inner dimensional core, the better it can radiate out as a healing factor. Kind of like if you're more balanced with your inner self or as inner self, yeah, it's better. As inner self, more balance, that balance exudes, and we can begin to see it potentially in a healing. Healing. Okay. All right. Now, again, there are many levels, many dimensional levels. Uh, so I would think you'd get potentially some healing effect from even a first simple level. That's what we used to get with, uh, I broke my arm, and I'm going to stick my arm out there, and energy, and they'd get results. But then we're not a very deep level. This was a lot of more kind of new at energy flow kind of thing. Uh, but they got results, okay? <sighs> Uh, when we do uh, that arm bend thing, somebody bends my arm, and I just settle and open, and more energy flowing through, uh, and it's harder for them to bend the arm. Continue. I uh, guess potentially impossible for that person, not impossible for everybody. Some monster will come around and bend your arm, you know. Uh, so I don't like the word unbendable arm. Uh, somebody would say, oh, and bend it. Uh, but as a check for if you're at that level, that should be happening. Oh, it's starting to break down. Oh, okay, you need a better level. You settle and open into a finer energy dimension and, and, and a finer energy dimension, boom, stronger arm. Okay, so it's just a check for uh, are you in the right zone? See, if you're just having an idea about, yes, I know how energy, energy flows, they bend your arm, okay? Or you hang in there and you, mm, I'm in flowing energy. No, you're not. You're straining your ass off. What are you talking? Uh, so it gives you a chance to check, was that internalized manifesting naturally to the outer? It's just a check, okay? It's just meant to be a check, all right? Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Core, core, core. So core 
Find your core, your energies, your qualities. It's like a, 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 a gathering spot. There we go, a gathering spot. And those energies emanate, okay? Now, if we're going to play with healing, uh, I'm not sure, uh, I kind of, if, if I play a bit with that, uh, I kind of say healing core. In case there's a, a little variation of core when I throw that word healing core, and I'm not sure yet, okay? But definitely a gathering zone for your qualities and the finer your inner sensing, experiencing them, the more they can radiate out through the finer energy body you, through the heavier physical body you, and maybe even a bit more, <laughs> okay. <sighs> um, don't know if I covered it good enough. Uh, did I miss something in there? Is that, is that thing okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Any comments there? Feel free. That's it. This is Justin. I uh, I'd like to add or or um, um, to magnify something that you said when we're talking about self healing. Um, self care also comes to mind. Things that we do that we need to do to attend to our own self need, um, like hygiene, for example. Um, this kind of checking in and and um, settling and opening. Um, can be, should be done, like the other things we maybe should do on a mandatory level for our own self-care um, as an ordinary thing day to day. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm throwing out these possibilities. What do I want? What would I like? I'd like people to catch on to this inner dimensional finer boom. What do I have to do to get you interested in this? I'll teach the golfers to settle better. Do I give a shit about their golf game? I don't think so, but I would teach them because if they can get centered a bit and be a little more present, they got a first piece of it. Maybe they'll continue and go, hmm, what is this centering stuff? Because I can really hit that ball better. It's smoother. It goes further. Wow. Maybe I've hooked them or their own systems had a chance to hook them and continue. I'll come at it any which way I have to come at it to get it going, okay? You see? Uh, so yeah, Aikido techniques and all that stuff. Oh yeah, that's cute, but that's the work, the inner work, okay? The, I don't know, say the real work, and if you like that form as your approach pattern, hey, cool. And then I'll mention healing form. And some of you are a little uh, uh, will say, yes, healing, healing. How do I do that? Inner. It's the same process, basically. Just coming at it from a different angle. Okay. Uh, so I say to Steve, who's into ball, baseball, uh, uh, he picked up something from Osensei. He went from a, well, he was a pro but his batting was not too cool. And he caught on to something. He became the hitting champion, not just of Japan, but uh, his score, his, his batting thing uh, was like, wow. Okay, you'd know about him if he was American, unfortunately, Japanese. So, and you probably don't think much about Japanese baseball, but they got some good boys on there. If you notice the American teams hire them sometimes. So you'll see Japanese players. And you'll see a few American players on a Japanese team. So I uh, don't know if they're equal, but anyway, Sadaharu was uh, caught on to something. And he was hitting different than a normal human being hits. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so anything that facilitates and gives you a reason to do this work, uh, to do this process, uh, to catch on to 
the potential wows of it. Uh, I mean, didn't O Sensei was trying to wow you about this by saying, look at you can't defeat me. And all the martial arts said, wow. <laughs> okay, because they were interested in martial arts. Um, and you would do little games, you know, uh, to catch your attention. Uh, like the walk faster at the train station where we had to run to keep up with them. Uh, an old man and we're young and we're running for God's sake. There's little games. Hey, check this out. You know, kind of thing. Uh, should catch your attention. It's now it's up to you to figure out what's going on here. Uh, okay. But some people stop at wow, sensei, and that's it. They don't do anything. Whatever. Uh, so, so the core approach, easy, kind of like a ball of energy, if you would, finer and finer. And it naturally emanates. And in there is a healing capability. Okay. Um, the core, I'm wondering if, if we shouldn't, if you're advanced, advanced, uh, don't have the core just be a, a ball in your belly. But it's finer and finer that the core may be equal to your whole system. Uh, let's say you have a, a, a you're a field, okay, you're, you're a field, that the core is that whole field. It's not just a ball here, okay? So that might facilitate. I don't know if I said that well, if you caught that. No big deal. A ball radiating is good enough, but I think it's more than a ball, okay? Uh, Bob, I'd actually say, if you could say that again, I think that was so important. I don't know if I what can. What was it you said? <laughs> I can. That it's more than a little ball. It's a whole field of energy is actually your core. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I'll do another overlay. We've got a little bit overlay going on here. Balance of energies, qualities. Okay, core, core, character, Bobby Robert Nado, that's, that's what that meant, it's character here, okay, uh, an inner finer, uh, it, it's not a body character per se, but there is a, a, oh God, an inner finer energy, but finer? body <laughs> kind of thing. So it's possible that the core uh, will show as a fullness, fullness sphere, S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. Possibly, just be open. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that the first time, just play core as core. Play the next one a little bit finer, better. Uh, you don't have to Oh boy, and it's as big as the body, and that's core. And you're going in, oh yes, it's core, yes. Don't be so fast. Yes, 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 but click, 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 click. Later, your clicks, clicks get very fast. Later, you can click, clack. But don't be in a rush for speed. Don't mind a couple of click, click, clicks to establish basics, so to speak. And then just continue then. Now it can start to get smoother a bit faster. Okay. So uh, I wouldn't, what I'm trying to say is I wouldn't skip the first couple of cores uh, to go for that core that's uh, a big sphere here. I wouldn't be so fast. It'll, it'll show. I'm just saying, by the way, if this happens to show, yeah, I, I think that's cool. Seems to be. You tell me. Uh, that's all I can say again on that. Whoa, where does the time go? Uh, now, uh, any, anything for a minute on, on whatever? Yes, Sensei. Sensei, I have huh? Sean here. Yes. I have a feeling that there's something about um, when you notice that things resonate, <sighs> when you have a sense that things click on another level and you don't need to identify it. 
you need to go into it. It's just a sense of resonation and, and you just go with it. And, and it's non-verbal, non-intellectual. Would you speak on that? No, uh, but uh, one by two by three by. Yeah, good, 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 good. Go over that one again. Yep, that's good. Okay, that's good. Moving from uh, one by to two by, you're yep. you're entering a three by. Now, at first, it, it might feel like nothing's here. It's empty. You don't know. Easy, three by. Now things begin to happen. I get a vague sense of a center a vague sense of the parameters of it, the circle of it, if you would. Easy. Three by three. There's some activity, something moved. There's some movement going on. Okay. And then that energy movement mixes up core character. And there you are, you're a three by three, you're experientially. That's just something you know. You're, you're experiencing yourself as a three by three. Remember the one by one guy was kind of crowded in, oh shit, the world. And this guy starts to, hey, welcome the world. Within reason, give me some problems, I can handle them. Within reason as a three by three. Uh, so whatever you're talking about, you should be able to use that as a reference. Okay, is that all right? Excellent, thank you, Sensei, thank you. Okay. All right. Ah. Healing, healing, healing. Uh, is Diana Florida on? Yes, I'm here. Diana, real quick. In your couples workshop, did you do the energy hands partner? Hmm. No. Yeah, sometimes it wasn't. It didn't. It didn't become. Yes and no. <laughs> A version of it. Yes. Okay. But what I was going to present real quick, I don't want to get into detail here, we're running out of time, but uh, in doing the a couple sitting, uh, making hand contact, uh, they begin, as they settle easy, they begin to catch their energy, or you might mention it to them to prep them for it, but they begin to feel the energy currenting through, continue to settle, and they may feel a continuation of that, but more like they're beginning to, in energy, touch each other, other than the hands, okay? And eventually or soon or whatever, you would, you would notice their relationship is better with each other because they would say so. They would talk about that. Oh, I have more caring for her. I have more understanding of her or something. Should, if you're doing a lot of that, that should have shown anyway, uh, not to get into your business. but uh, And so I'd say, oh, we could call that couples healing, couldn't we? And what did we do? We settled, got to a finer dimension, just happened to be in the context of a partner relationship. And we settled, got into a finer dimension, and things begin to naturally show and happen. So the couple that was it's like bickering a lot. Suddenly here, they're not interested in bickering. If they really get a flavor, really experience it, they may not bicker at all later or very few times compared to what they used to do. Whatever, whatever. Depends on them, right? Uh, but it's, isn't that a type of healing? Couples healing. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. What's our third one here? Oh, okay, uh, the uh, mind-body, big phrase in Aikido. I sort of don't like the words mind-body uh, because there's a tendency of go, my, I, 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 idea and that body. And they think my idea and my body. Uh, it's not quite the right flavor for it, I'm, for me. Okay, but following that, and following this simple one we've done more, I've shown you, we've done more than once. I have an idea. I would like to stand better, whatever better means. I'll, I'll leave it open. I'd like to stand better, okay, easy. 
settling, opening. The energies are gathering. I'm a little slow right now. They're gathering. Not quite yet, but they're got here it comes. Here it comes. Boom. Boom. So that was the partnership between the idea presented and its partner, the energy. Okay. okay. Uh, so I was wondering about using that. Let me double check anything I missed here. Uh, 16. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know. So let's say your uh, illness. Uh, okay, just basic. I would like to be healthier. I would like to be healthier. Okay, easy. That idea is being presented to its partner. Uh, like to be healthier and the energies qualities are radiating and in my case right now they're mixing up a character i'm getting a a, a, a clean looking he's even glowing a bit uh young young guy i kind of recognize him from other meditation work he's what i call the golden boy he's related to the golden boy Okay, it's not just a visual picture out here. This is an inner sense, an inner sense, okay? If after playing here for some minutes or for a while, you don't happen to say, gee, you look handsomer now, I'd be surprised. <laughs> I would have to double check my work. <laughs> okay, so the idea to its partner, partner responds. Uh, you could add the other things, maybe. Uh, uh, they respond and creating a core because the energies, qualities, core, core character, all of that emanating uh, to take care of uh, through the dimensions, you're in finer, to the heavier that was interested in healing because he was off. Okay, so uh, some possibility of using the idea to the energy and the energy response okay in whatever form uh if you got the sense of it whatever form feels comfortable whether you uh, use that as a core or just a uh here comes the energies and they're pervading so whatever whatever they're pervading pervading the system and then again back at it hit them again and boom they're pervading so general pervading radiating or you can throw the core in and use that uh, as a reference radiation point or the character that's there. Character that's there. Uh, let me see. Is that, is that sort of okay? Sort of kind of maybe, huh? Very much so. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I've been sort of involved in and out with this stuff for quite a while. And I'm never sure what's clear out there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, again, not just the idea, but some inner experiential sense. Okay. Now double check, because you can have an idea about inner experiential sense. It's tricky that. That's why I like those simple checks. Brad, one second. Just a light finger, a light little, little finger on top of my arm. No, it's a hand. Little finger. Uh, that's not a little. There we go. I have to get better help around here. Uh, and just okay, okay, not so heavy, not for starters. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm back in Bobby Land. It's strange. Easy settle. Ah, help. Okay, a bit better? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And it came from lower, and I felt it. I, what am I trying to say here? Uh, it's not an idea. An idea, I can't quite get enough of the energy. A little bit maybe, but not really. The energy. 
the energy itself. Oh, that's better one. The thing itself. And to catch that, yes, have an idea, but it's partner actually present. Whatever you want to call that, experiencing itself, experiencing, creating the character, you. Well, since I tried to tell you when he said, put it in your body. Put all of this awareness stuff in your body where it gets activated as an actual something. Okay. See, again, that's where he was different than just the awareness meditator types. Uh, he picked up a piece we probably knew about at one time and forgot about or time to bring it in at this age. And that was the, the harmony between the two forces. Okay. Not just meditate, but experience as you're meditating would be more proper. Experience. Okay. And that's why I like the little check so you can tell if you're experiencing. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brad. And Brad, that's a little bit. Uh, where the hell are we? Uh, oh, mind-body relationship in relationship to healing. Okay. Uh, what? I understand you're you're saying that there, that in my impression, there are a lot of things that we can do and maybe should do um, out there to avail ourselves of healing wise modalities. But um, but there's a lot that we can do and rely on our own self, um, that I self inviting, connecting even a little bit with that, um, it, 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 it helps us engage with our healing process on levels that as wonderful as acupuncture and many other things are, is only a, a system, a modality, but it, it's, not with, it's not with the inviting of the eye per se, it's just some energy I, as great as that is. Are you saying that you're considering the main work to be easy the eye to self? Easy, continue to a more original self, easy to a more original, pure self. So eventually the more original soul beingness. Is that what you're highlighting? I would say that, that yes, that we are saying that. And, and as healing as acupuncture, other things can be, it helps us um, perhaps access a state of being where our original self is more available to us somehow. Uh, facil it facilitates certain things, but it eventually will come back to our own self and that relationship we can do with and within ourself. Yeah, and I think all I'm trying, follow me, all I'm trying to do is give you a, a reason to do some inner work. And if you're hurting or something, uh, I just give you a game to play where you do inner work to get a helpful, hopefully, radiation, and you'll be, oh, wow, I healed pretty fast. The doctor said it would be a month, and it only took me two weeks, and I'm cool, whatever, whatever, whatever. They give you a reason to do the inner. Yes, of course, the real, real reason is uh, I to self, to a finer self, to a more original self. Uh, yes, but it's okay to use things. Aikido is a thing you use. Healing is a thing you use. Uh, talking to animals is a thing you use to get to a finer dimension where you can communicate. No big deal. Whatever, whatever. And there's a million things that can be improved by doing this basic. Uh, so many possibilities. Well, this, uh, is, this is what I emphasize with the people I work with. Of course, you'll feel and experience less stress and less pain, accelerated healing. But but go out there yourselves, not healers, maybe, if that's not your lineage. Personally, I enjoy immersing in the ordinary things like sweeping the floor, uh, prepping the vegetables for dinner. Um, how have I settled, touch my core, uh, more available? There's evidence in my experience that I'm functioning on a different level. Um, doing the ordinary things like raking the leaves and you know, one one potatoes. Buy. Three by. I would surmise a one by, if he has to sweep the floor, is getting pissy about it. Some form or other is getting pissy. A two by, yeah, a three by might find the enjoyment 
inch sweeping the floor. From that level, he enjoys whatever other benefits he's getting, which something, something jumped in my mind. Uh, when the dojo was empty in Tokyo, I used to go in and sweep the floor, even though at the end of every class, the floor got swept. I didn't like the job they were doing. I would go on my own and sweep. Not to impress anybody, because hopefully nobody was there in that time of the afternoon. Uh, but I did it for whatever, whatever was happening then. I don't remember. But I remember doing that more than once. Yeah. So a three by three year or a four by four. Or <clears throat> yes. Dumb things can become beautiful things. Yeah. I did a lot of dumb things in my early years of practice. Move a glass over to here. Settling, move it over back to here. Settling, I don't know what I was going for. How dumb can you get? But you see, to take the dumbest thing you can start with. And now in my terminology, I would say, and just to see, feel, experience, what might open up there? Okay. What might change there? What might, and I wasn't sure where I was going with dumb things like that. I was inquiring. <laughs> Is there anything going on here other than me moving a glass back and forth? <sighs> How boring. Right, hang there and hang there and continue. And I don't remember what opened up, but I know things begin to open up. I vaguely remember that. Uh, so, yeah, at a better level, dumb shit is not the same dumb shit. It's a different level of dumb shit that you don't call dumb shit anymore. <laughs> okay, everything changes. Your perception, your... How you handle it, I don't know. Yes, sure, of course. So... Uh, Sensei, oh, Sean, oh, Sean here. I, I, I have a sense of, like, uh, a sense of non-conflict, non-verbal, and then non-conceptual, um, uh, 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 if you will. And, 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 and in my mind, that goes to like a sense of uh, complete feeling, uh, a sense of not belonging to a sense of belonging. And, 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 and not not caring to a sense of appreciation of detail. Okay, now we're talking about it. If you in your sitting are moving from one eventually to the next, where you started not caring, then you settled and well, and you continued, and suddenly, eventually, you get to a place where you begin to care a bit. Oh, and you get yeah. finer and finer, and suddenly caring. If you are having the experience, I say, yay, Sean, you throw more words at me. I'm going to turn off my TV set here. <laughs> All right. I'm here. I'm, I'm on you. I, I'm with you. Thank you. And jumping the words to other words. And then that reminds me of this word. Uh, I don't want to bounce. Me, I don't want to bounce with those words that way. I want this. I want this. You might be right, but you sit with not caring and go dimensional with it. Actually, you actually experience what happens and what your quality is. Actual, actual, actual. And so the person, person is a caring person, actually, not an idea. You see, you have an idea you're caring. And I've jumped on you on the mat about that. Remember? I get you. Thank you. You didn't understand what I was saying. Because then you I got you. You're I got caring. you. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, but I don't see it. That's why I would jump you. <laughs> okay. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bear with me. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, oh, we're eating up time here, people. Where the hell are we? Oh, is that sort of okay? That process, a uh, finer inner, naturally radiates. Uh, and, and if we say healing, uh, I think it has healing capability. 
I, uh, not that this means anything, uh, but I was telling my general sensei one morning, one day, uh, uh, this is going to the bathroom, which is right next to the door, to the dojo, open door. And he stuck his head out. And I'm telling you, the whole class gasped. He looked like death. Really, he didn't look well at all. He looked like death. I'm telling you, the whole room, <gasps> he looked bad. He said something like, don't worry. Uh, now, I don't remember the timing. It wasn't a whole bunch of time, but uh, in a day or two, he showed himself again, and he was more there. Not at his top yet. But another day, he started to come out and do his stuff. Now, this is an old man. And if you had seen him, was, oh, he looked like death. And to go from that to a few days, if I recall, it wasn't a few weeks, it was a few days of time, uh, to suddenly be back to a good norm. Doesn't mean anything, but hmm, interesting, interesting. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, if you are interested in healing, uh, I meant to call the healers in tonight to have, say something. Uh, Susan. Uh, uh, Susan is here, Sensei. Huh? Susan is online. Susan, anything real, real quick? So we're eating up time. Susan? Well, she got cut off. Looks like she got cut off. Sorry. Oh, no. It happens when she's coming back since I had not sure. I, I don't have interest anymore. <laughs> Susan? Elaine, you have anything to throw in? I'm sorry, Sensei Elaine is not here tonight. Not here tonight. Oh, okay. And we've already talked to Justin, so we all pulled him off. Anyway, uh, and Bob, I didn't bring you in. Uh, Bob was there in the early years of hands-on energy healing, and I thought he'd go over, and he really liked it, so he, he kept going with that and the continuation of that, but uh, I think we're finishing up here, Bob. Uh, so I won't call you out unless you want to say something. That's a, uh, what I can say is that our practice followed the exact progression that you were describing. Okay, from the early hands-on practice. And, uh, and you also made it clear it was just a perspective on the work as a whole that we were using healing, but it was just a perspective, particular application of the work as a whole. Yeah, he's trying another angle on things. Then. So we had our Aikidos, we were doing this in the dojo, uh, but it into a different angle. And again, we touch Bob because he, he liked that, was good at it and continued doing it. He still does it in some form at whatever level he's at, right, Bob? Yes, that's it, that's right. Yeah, so, hey. Every time he does it, he's got to settle a bit and get to a finer dimension. So that, that gives him a, a reason to, what's the word, process. Yeah. Okay, people, I think I bored you enough for tonight. Thank uh, you, Sensei. All Thank right. You very much. See you next week. Yeah. Inshallah. <laughs>